Hey Virgo, Mariah here. I'm going to go ahead and get into your reading for the end of December. Let's see what's happening in your love life. Hopefully all you guys are having a beautiful holiday and you're spending it with family, friends, loved ones. And if you are alone this holiday season, I send you so much love, light and healing. I know what it's like to be alone during the holidays and it's never, you know, the best feeling. So I just send you so much peace and solace during this time. So for my Virgo spirit, what do they need to know in regards to their love life? For Virgos, what do they need to know in regards to their love life? Extroverted. What does my Virgos need to know in regards to their love life? For the end of December, we have gift. Tell me more, Spirit. What does our Virgos need to know? End of December. Oops, two. Secrets. Intimacy. Oh, way too many. Just a few more here, Spirit. Happiness. Come on, Virgos. What do they need to know in regards to their love life? For the end of December. Family, and I don't read this deck in reverse. Two more. What does our Virgos need to know for their love life? Propo proposal. <laughs> if I can speak proposal. I think I had to tell this for one other sign. I don't remember who it was. But somebody, I'm getting the same energy here for you, Virgo. If you're in a committed, happy relationship, right? You are satisfied. Maybe you're just watching tarot readings just to see what's going on. Or just energy checking in. I don't know. But if you and your person are in a pretty solid state when it comes to your relationship, I will say this to you. You may, um, you and your partner around this holiday season may decide to start planning to conceive for a child. Or your person, if you're not married to whoever this is, they may end up proposing to you this holiday season and asking your family um, for your hand in marriage. So if that is you, sorry to ruin the surprise, but early congratulations. But that's only if, you know, you and your person are in a good state. Waiting. Bottom of the deck is dating and romance. Ooh, okay. What is going on here? Oh. Virgo, who are you going to make jealous here? End of December. Who are you making jealous here in the December dating romance and jealousy? Because if I'm going to give it to you like a sharpshooter, just straight at you, it feels like, mind you, you may not experience this energy as of yet. We're mid-December. But end of December, even I would say early January, I do see you getting back out there if you've been kind of like cooped up to yourself a little bit or... You know, you've just been spending a lot of time with family, people that are close to you, just spending a lot of close times. Because even with intimacy, intimacy doesn't always have to relate to sex, you know. Intimacy just talks about closeness, having a, a, a tight-knit or unity with people that mean the most to you, right? There's some form of intimacy there on a deeper level, not just sexual. But I'm getting the energy, Virgo, that especially my ones who have been single or if you have been in a connection where it's just kind of like shifty, like on off and consistent, your person's not just your person's not behaving really well. I'm getting the energy here, Virgo, that you're putting your happiness first and that you're going out. You may go out with maybe family or you may have friends that you view as family like a secondhand family, if you will. And I see you getting out there and dating. I see you putting yourself back out on the market. I'm not saying that you're, you know, you're going on a date every week or every other week, but I, it's almost a sense of because of spending time out with the people that you care about, maybe it's one specific person or maybe multiple people you care about, because you are being out there and putting your energy out there in the universe and opening yourself up a little bit. I'm just seeing dating options come in for you. And I don't know who this jealous energy is, especially if, you know, you're kind of in this weird connection on off. I just feel like a partner or a person 
will be jealous of the fact that you're out there dating and that you're out there moving on and that you're out there trying to put yourself uh make yourself available to other people that you're trying to find your like i'm hearing us though got a groove back literally like legitimately Stella got her groove back not saying you're gonna be in a full-blown swing of things but god damn it you're getting out there you're finding your happiness again you don't want to you don't want to cry you don't want to be in a house anymore or you just don't want to be stuck in that energy you know how even if you have processed the um feelings of things but that energy just still surrounds you it still kind of weighs on you you don't want to be stuck in that energetic field anymore you want to get out you want to shake that off of you so I'm getting, I'm seeing people wanting to take you out on dates with this proposal here. I don't get this as a literal engagement unless you're in that first group that is like in an actual relationship, y'all happy. But if you're, if that's not your case and you're this other group of Virgos, I see you getting offered or asked out on dates, asked out to go out to dinner, asked to, you know, have time spent with each other. For some of you, even on, on this date or dates, you may get like a little gift, especially around the holiday season. They may do something nice for you. Nothing big or crazy, but, you know, they may be considerate and, and take you to maybe your favorite place. If you tell them, you know, your favorite restaurant or your favorite type of food, they may be considerate and say, okay, well, you know, I thought I would take you here because I know you said that you like that or I know you said that you like um, going to the movies or I know you said that you really liked this specific lounge or bar whatever the case may be and i see them like actually doing something a little special out of the way for you whoever you're getting to know or date or just putting yourself back out on the market and, and coming across the dating option that is considerate and wants to take you places that you actually like to go but whoever this is this is so interesting because this isn't something that isn't i, I can't i can't how can I put this in, in context for you, Virgo? I don't see you like broadcasting this, not intentionally trying to broadcast this. But whoever is this jealous energy around you, a connection that you've dealt with or currently dealing with that's not in the best space, your energy is changing. Your vibe is changing. Even if they have no way to contact you, you know, when you are energetically linked to somebody, they can feel when a shift is happening with the other person. If you're really that linked with somebody, they can start to feel something shifting or changing about you if they don't have the ability to see what's going on. And it's almost a sense of what's going on with Virgo. Something's changing with Virgo. Something's happen happening with Virgo. I can't really put my finger on it, but something's happening with Virgo. Whoever this is, so they think you're going to come back around. I don't know if you are. They really think you're going to come back around, Virgo. They really think that, uh, they may have thought that you were waiting on them or that you were waiting for them to change or that there was a potential of you two getting back together. At least, you know, how they were feeling about you or how they thought you were feeling about them, right? But now I'm seeing this person kind of waiting on you this is a weird energy because they're coming up for me as this jealousy feeling that something has changed in your energy feeling like you're something's different and virgo i see you getting your groove back you're trying to find your happiness you're trying to feel more carefree you're trying to feel more light you're trying to feel more free flowing you're allowing the universe to take you where it may take you you know you're not trying to overcomplicate things at least that's not what you want to do and somebody feels like they're left in the shadows of your dust strongly strongly tell me about this person that's jealous spirit tell me about this person that's jealous over my brothers tell me about the person that's jealous when it comes to my brothers who is this person why are they jealous seek somebody from your past and this is a past person for you. Six of Cups in the upright, Knight of Cups in the reverse. Somebody who couldn't get it together. That's what it feels like. Somebody who may have, it's like half-assed gestures or half-assed improvements. How can I put this? This is somebody telling you, Virgo, like, you know what? I'm going to start 
showing up for you more or prioritizing you more or you know I'm going to change certain things to show you how much I care about you I'm going to start doing certain things to show you how much I care about you but this person was only taking a half step in doing so they were half-assing it they really weren't living up to the potential they were selling you they really weren't living up to the potential that they were giving off to you tell me about this jealousy energy eight of wands Queen of Cups, Nine of Wands, could be a water sign here, because we got the Knight of Cups and now the Queen of Cups here, Six of Cups, <laughs> doesn't have to be, but they may have a water placement, tell me more, Spirit. Ooh. Okay, I don't want all those, but I'll take these, Three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, one more for my Virgos. Knight of Wands in the reverse. And the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, this was somebody you were either married to here, Virgo. I was going to say Capricorn, so for some of you, maybe a Capricorn. But this is somebody you were either married to or in a relationship with or in a long-term relationship or somebody you thought you saw long-term potential with. But they're on. you got this person on edge. Why are they so on edge? Because I'm feeling like they felt you were going to come back, that you were waiting on them. And now it feels like they're waiting on you in some weird, odd circumstance because you're out doing your own thing and trying to find your own happiness at the end of December going into January. And now the tables has turned. Now they feel like they're waiting on you when you were really waiting on them for them to step up, for them to take control, for them to take the lead. You were waiting on them to show up in the marriage relationship or connection as the way that they should have. And now that they're not, and you guys have dissolved whatever this was, now they're waiting on you. The script has been flipped here, Virgo. And it's kind of interesting. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of interesting. So we have Nine of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so your person is a bit on edge here. Jealousy is stemming from this. Because I do see your person wanting to approach you, wanting to talk to you. Let's kind of restart this with the Page of Pentacles, fresh start. Let's, you know, scorch the earth and then uh, breed new life. Knight of Wands, for some of you, person could have been in and out or a little inconsistent. Just for some of you, I'm not getting that strongly, not in this energy. But this, for me, is more of a serious energy when it's in the reverse. So it's like your person is wanting to kind of plant their feet and be more serious when it comes to their actions instead of being inconsistent or uh, unstable in their actions. You know, they want to kind of, you know, walk the walk and talk the talk at the same time. This uh, Knight of Wands in the reverse slows down the energy of the Knight of Wands in the upright. So now they want to be more steady and more um, matter-of-fact and driven with actual vision and purpose in their intentions with you. Wanting to try and start this back up, even if we got to start from the baseline of friendship or wanting to start back up, even if we have to start from the baseline of just getting to know each other all over again. Ten of Swords to the Three of Cups on the bottom. Yeah, I want to reconcile with you. This person wants to reconcile with you. They want to see you again. But Virgo, you're like moving, you're like doing your own, you're in your own groove. That's the craziest part about it. And that's, it's not crazy. It's just bottom of the deck is settling. And I don't think you want to settle anymore. You may have felt like you were settling in some way with this person. And you just don't want to do that. So Virgo, we are going to take this into the extended, right? I want to know what this past person's next actions are towards you. I also want to know when it comes to this new dating energy, what's coming in for you, who you may be seeing and viewing, get some attributes, who, what, where, where you may meet this, what they may look like, get some outcomes, get some advice for you. All my extendants are very jam-packed with information and heavily detailed, so definitely come over there. It's a great time. The link is in the description box below, but if this is where I leave you, Virgo, know that it's been an absolute pleasure to read for you. I am so grateful. I'm so honored. I hope you have a wonderful, happy holiday. Be safe. Drink your water. Get enough sleep. Eat well. Take care of yourself. Take care of your mind, body, soul, heart, spirit. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.